can get down there and look. <laughs> Hi everybody. Well today's video we've got two things that we're going to be installing on the truck. Both of them are electrical and have to do with exterior lighting. Um, this truck and I'm sure all Ford trucks of this era and probably a lot of vehicles of this era have really terrible headlights as far as how bright they are. Now this has you know halogen bulbs but they just don't really shoot down the road like new cars do. So I'm gonna be adding an LED light bar. It's gonna go down here, right in this cutout where the ambulance sirens used to be. So I, I ordered one that fits right in there. I just went over looking at how it installs and the wiring and all that. Uh, it has wiring that feeds directly from the battery with a relay system and then a dash toggle switch. And the reason they do it like that instead of just running uh, like accessory voltage to it is if you run right to the battery with a relay you get a lot of power and the, the lights can really shine bright. So I'm glad I ordered this one specifically because it came with that wiring harness with the relay. So that's excellent. And then the other uh, lighting, exterior lighting that we're going to be installing is the clearance lights. So. This has both yellow and red clearance lights that go all around the truck. These are, the ones that are on there are the original. They're standard uh, incandescent bulbs with the filament. Um, they're kind of sketchy, you know, the sockets where they plug in have deteriorated over time. There's one of them in the back specifically that I keep fighting with. Uh, to get both of the bulbs to illuminate. Sometimes they do, sometimes it's only one. So I ordered a set, their LED uh, replacement clearance lights. They came, I think it's 14 total. You get seven red, seven yellow. Uh, I need a total of 12, so I'm gonna have a couple of spares. Um, really inexpensive, I think they were $30 for that whole set. And the light bar, Gosh, I can't remember, but before the video's out, I'll go over the price of it. And I'll put links to both of them in the description below. So let's get a look at this light bar. This is a, I believe it's specced as a 22 inch bar. It has, you can see aluminum cooling fins, uh, a really simple mounting system. So right here in this channel, there's two nuts that are captive down in there and then the two brackets. So I came out here to the truck and luckily in this cutout, there's a metal flat bar that runs all the way across here. It's part of the bumper. It's actually chrome under there, I believe. So these are the two brackets that the light bar came with right here and you can see the curve of it so that it can attach to the curve of the of the LED bar. So I got under here, kind of held it where I wanted it to be, and lo and behold there was already two holes drilled the correct diameter for these two bolts. So sometimes things really go your way. So I didn't have to drill anything. I've got these brackets mounted up here. Now I'm gonna come position the LED bar, just verify everything's good, and then I'm gonna start running the wiring. And we'll get this thing connected up. Shouldn't take long at all. Battery plus and minus connection, and then running the switch wire up into the cab and Gonna bore a hole through the plastic of the dashboard and mount the toggle switch that it came with. Should be real easy. So here's the 
here's what we have for the wiring harness. So you, you can see this is a pretty robust harness. I'm, I'm happy to see the quality of this. So the wiring, um, again, it has a relay, which is this right here. So this will just get uh, screwed somewhere uh, against uh, a panel or just you know up and out of the way um, using a little self tap or I'll screw that in somewhere depending on where it ends up being just so that it's secure and not rattling around uh, here's the toggle switch that it came with it is rubber sealed um, so I'll have to drill a hole it's the size uh, that looks like three quarters of an inch possibly so I have some uh, I can use actually my step drill bit and keep opening up the hole until this fits in there perfect. And then you've got these two connections that go right to the battery, positive and negative. And then these two wires are the ones that run to the light itself. So these will be starting at the light. Uh, it looks like it's going to be long enough. The, you know, the distance, because uh, the front end of the van is so short, so I should, I should be okay. So I'm gonna get this unwrapped. Very simple uh, wiring diagram. The brand of these lights is Nylite. They came from Amazon. And again, there'll be a link in the description. So I'm gonna get this kind of specked out on the truck and see, see where the wires, I'm gonna route them, um, where they're gonna punch through the firewall and we'll get it hooked up. Okay, right up here in the firewall, if you look where my light is shining, you can see I already have uh, two wires that pass through there. I popped the grommet out already, the rubber grommet, and there's plenty of room to feed the additional wires for this uh, light bar switch. So I'm gonna go through that same location and then I'll put the grommet back in and this time I've actually got a new grommet that I'm going to be putting in and then I'll put some butyl tape, uh, you know, some dum-dum over it too and seal that up. So real easy. So that's, that's on the driver's side. There it is right there. It's a good size haul. It's probably three quarters of an inch in diameter, plenty of room. What I did notice, you can see my wires right there. If I'm not mistaken, those sure look like chew marks. Because that insulation, that's the horn wire. That insulation, you know, maybe I did that when I was pulling it through, but gosh, I wouldn't have left something looking like that. And it kind of looks like little teeth marks. And I've looked all over, once I saw that, I've been all over under the hood here and I don't find one other wire that's chewed. They wanted that horn wire. So I'm gonna tape that up uh, while I'm working on this project just to get that covered. Again, that's the, that's the wire for the horns. Okay, so far I've got the relay mounted. So I just, I drilled a quick hole through right here. I put one of those um, spring clips on there so you can put the screw through and then catch at the bottom of the fastener and tighten it down. I don't know what they're called. That was a terrible description. Uh, so the relay is mounted. Uh, here's the wires that are going inside to the toggle switch. So they had a uh, inline plug there. So I've got the toggle switch I'm gonna feed through from inside and join up to this. This is a little, I'm thinking this is not gonna be long enough. Um, if they could have done one thing differently, it would have been to put more distance between the toggle switch and the relay. Now, here's the wire that's going down to the lights itself. It's very long. It's actually a lot longer than what I need. I've already got it down in position. It's hanging down here under the truck. Uh, so it's much too long. Um, I might actually trim it to length and put some new terminals on the end to join it up to the light. So, getting close. Um,
So the camera's rolling. Look who just showed up for the glory moment. We get to turn it on. So you saw me finish the wiring. I just popped the fuse in. The switch is wired up, but I haven't yet poked it into the hole. Can you see it? Which one is it? The red it's one? It's the toggle one. Oh. Yeah, the red one. So hold on, let me go out here. Okay, I'm gonna do a countdown. Three, two, one, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yay! We got light. Oh, and it's bright. Oh my gosh. Come on over and look at it from the front. Get down there and look. Oh, wow. <laughs> right? That was awesome. Oh, it's super bright. Wow. Okay. Go turn her off, baby. That thing's drawing a lot of juice. It's wired straight to the battery. Okay, now, can you go ahead and pop that into its hole? Make sure it's straight up and down. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't worry about it if you turn it on. You can just turn it back on. It should fit, I hope. Okay. Yeah. Is it in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got a little rubber seal around it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Ah. Uh, is that done, Lefty? Huh? He's done. Don't bang your head. Dude. Where are you going? Oh, he's going. It was funny. I forgot. And I had a door open, and he was just laying in there, and he's not even leashed. Hey, goofball. So, Daddy finished the lights. Happy. He helped, kind of. He was, like, all up over my shoulder while I was drilling. Okay, so I'm gonna call this video finished. We're gonna do a part two. Nice try. Oh, <laughs> We're gonna do a part two on the clearance lights because that's Dalen's project, she's gonna do them. Okay. So thanks everybody for watching the video. I appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Lefty says don't give us any thumbs down. Yeah. Leave us some comments and we'll see you all really soon.